episode. Hello. Welcome back to another edition of Math with Miss Toman. I am so excited to be back from spring break and I hope you had a wonderful spring break and we missed you very much. So I'm giving you a hug for the week from last week and we're starting a new week ready to have a great week of learning. Hope you're tuning in and you're learning and you are spending time with your families as we go through these lessons together. As you remember, before we left, we did our numbers in different ways and we left off with the tally mark. Well, today I have a fun story that goes over the tally mark and you're gonna get to see it in action, just like I said. We're gonna get to see how we use these concepts in the real world. So before we do that though, I wanna review how to make our tally marks. And a lot of you may remember, but I'm gonna show you on this whiteboard. So we have one, two, three, four. Oh, do I do five that way? No, we make a slash. So every time you see this, you know automatically that it is five tally marks. So if I were to make another five, we know that we have five plus five and that makes 10. Good job. So every time you see us collect these tally marks in our story, every time we get to five, we're gonna do that slash and then we can count in groups of five. Are you ready to begin? Let's begin. Today we are going to read the book Tally O'Malley, written by Stuart J. Murphy and illustrated by Cynthia Jabbar. I see lots of tallies. Let's see what that's all about. Oh, maybe there's a clue. Tally O'Malley. The O'Malley's were ready to go on vacation. Almost ready, that is. Did you pack the beach towels, asked Dad? Did you lock the back door, asked Mom? Come on, Shamrock, get in, order Eric, pulling on the dog's leash. I can't find my sunglasses, said Neil. Bridget, everybody yelled. Hurry up or we'll never get there. Finally, they were on their way. They had been on the road for almost three hours when Eric grumbled. Aren't we ever going to get there? Eek, Shamrock's breathing on me, said Bridget. I can't find my baseball hat, said Nell. Why don't we play a tally game, asked Mom. First, they had to decide on something to count. Let's do cards, said Eric. He loved tally games because he almost always won. Okay, Mom agreed. Pick your colors. I take silver, said Eric. I take blue, said Bridget. How about you, Nell? Red, answered Nell. Red was her favorite color. Eric laughed. You always pick red and you never win, he said. Mom handed out paper and pencils. Do you remember how to play Nell? Asked Bridget. When you see a red car, you make a tally mark. And that's a tally mark right there. Then make another one for each red car you see. When you're up to three, it will look like this. One, two, three. When you get to five, you make a little bundle so they're easy to count, just like I showed you. This will be a 20 minute game, explained mom. Ready, set, go. There's a silver one, said Eric immediately, and two more over there. I see a blue one, said Bridget, and another one right behind it. Ha, I see a red one, said Nell. Nell, there's another one, said dad. No helping, yelled Eric. So they're looking at the colors and how they're recording the information is they're making what? Tally marks, very good. Time's up, said mom, just as they pulled into a rest stop for lunch. So we see Eric's tally marks, Nell's, and Bridget, and we're gonna count. Dad took Shamrock for a walk while they counted up their tally marks. I win, Eric shouted, I always win. Now let's look at the picture and see if we can tell that Eric won. I think he thinks he won because he has the most marks. So he has one group of five plus one group of five. And we know that five plus five makes, that's right, 10. And we count on 10, 11, 12. So Eric has 12 tally marks. Nell has one group of five 
plus one more. So when we count from five, we go five, six. And Bridget has one group of five and another group of five. And we know that five plus five make, that's right, 10. You got to get to wear the tally medal, said mom. The medal was really a plastic shamrock that dad had given the dog on her first birthday. You think you're so great, whined Bridget. Tally O'Malley, Eric, smiling with his medal. The line for hamburgers was very long. I'm hungry, said Bridget. I want ice cream, said Nell. Can I play video games, asked Eric. Let's play another tally game, said Dad. We can't count cars here, said Bridget. Let's do t-shirts. Yellow, called Eric. Green, called Bridget. Red, called Nell. Eric laughed. Red never wins, he said. The line moved forward an inch at a time. They counted every t-shirt they could see. So this time, they're going to use t-shirts rather than cars. And these are their tally marks. Can you guess who won? By, can you see who won by looking at that? It's almost our turn, said Dad. Game's over. Add up your marks. I win, Bridget shouted. Mom took the shamrock medal from Eric and placed it around Bridget's neck. You won't have the tally medal for long, said Eric. Oh, yeah, Tally O'Malley, Bridget replied. So let's see what they're talking about. So Eric, he has one, two, three, four tally marks. Does Nell have more than him or less? She has less. She only has two. Bridget still has her five plus five, which is 10. So in this case, 10 is more than four and two. And the new winner is Bridget. Everyone was full after lunch. Eric, Bridget, and Nell slept for most of the rest of the way to the beach. Finally, they arrived. They had just gotten out of the car when they heard the train whistle in the distance. Let's count the train cars, said Eric. I picked the black ones. I take gray, said Bridget. Do you want red again, Nell? Yes, yeah, said Nell. It's my favorite. You never learn, said Eric. That's the engine, said Eric. It's black. One for me. No fair, said Bridget. An engine's not a car. A red car went by, then another, then another. The next car was red too, and the next one. The train rattled past. Finally, the caboose went by. It was red. There was hardly any black cars, said Eric. Or gray cars either, said Bridget. Let's see those tally sheets, said Mom. Nell wins. Oh my goodness, she finally won. Even though she picked red and her brother said red never wins. He only had one. Bridget has... One, two, three, and Nell has five plus five, makes 10, and we're gonna count from 10. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So clearly, Nell has the most. Bridget handed the shamrock medal to Nell, then she noticed a sign near the tracks. Look at that, she said, that's why Nell won. Travel the red line. Hey, Nell, that's not fair, said Eric. It seems fair to me, said Nell. So from now on, I want you to call me Tally O'Malley. The end. I hope you enjoyed this book. And this may be a game you can play with your parents or your brothers and sisters. As you see different things, you can count using tally marks. Remember that we count one, two, three, four, we're making lines, and when we get to five, we make our slash. That stands for five. So anytime you see that, you know there are five tally marks. This was a great way to show how you can use our counting in everyday life. I hope you enjoyed this lesson, and I hope to see you next time. Until then, stay safe, be well, and we'll see you next time. Bye.